What I understand the central bank to be saying is this. We have a decent amount of reserves as things now stand. But there are all sorts of calls on those reserves, including, of course, uh, the country's liabilities with respect to the super bond. I have been warning for a while. And you will see that the governor's letter, which is attached to Joe Witt's affidavit, sets out the growing burden that the super bond represents and points out that in 2020, we'll be paying something like 62, 65 million US just for that super bond alone, for which we have nothing to show. You talk about BTL, we've already made almost $200 million from BTL and whatever we are paying now on the Ashcroft Alliance's own projections, BTL stood to make a, almost a billion and a half dollars in profits by the year 2025. So whatever we are paying for BTL, we will more than get back. We own it forever and that company will continue to go from strength to strength. But please do not misunderstand what I apprehend the governor to be saying. He must carefully manage the reserves. He must carefully balance the competing claims for him to sell foreign exchange uh, to various entities. He must do all this in such a way as to ensure that we don't run into trouble, that we don't hit a wall in 2020 when the payments for the super bond will reach that astronomical 65 million US dollars.